Today's a really special day because we're going to Pukansan National Park. This is one of the top national parks in South Korea and pretty much all of Eastern Asia because it's so, so close to the city of Seoul. It takes less than an hour to get from where we're staying to the national park. It's supposed to be incredibly beautiful and we're going to do the most popular trail today which is to the highest peak which I can't remember the name of right now but can't wait to show you guys it. I'm being lazy today because we're hiking. We made it to the park. It's super easy to get here. Uh, all you have to do is take a metro and then a bus. The bus is pretty easy. There's three different ones you could take and then you get here. But we're super excited. Um, Bugondai is the highest peak here in Bukansan National Park. And we just met an awesome father and son. And they're going to show us part of the way to get there. And then they're going to end up going back. But we're going to continue all the way up to the peak. This is a map of where we're going in the peaks. So that one we're not going to, but this one is Begande Peak. Ah, there, Digo there. Higher there. Yeah, it's the tallest one. Mm -hmm. 836 meters. That's right. And it means white cloud peak. Cause it, that's right. <laughs> this way. One thing that I will say is the trail is done up really, really, really well. Ruthie, look at this bug on the mic. Eee! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is a really nice trail so far. It's supposed to get pretty challenging towards the top and they have some parts where there's like ropes that you have to use. So I'm excited for that, but this first part is super easy, super flat. You're just walking up to get to the base of the mountain. I'm so excited! We're not even that far. 3.4k. We're doing pretty five. well. I mean, the, the trail being so like well kept makes it so much easier just to walk here. We don't have to be like doing any rock scramble or worrying about where we're stepping. It's pretty easy so far. I think it gets a little bit harder as we go off trail. This is just the beginning, so we'll see. There's two ways to get to Begunda Peak. One is the difficult course, that one's super steep but a shorter distance. And the easy course, which is more scenic, it's a longer distance, but it's not quite as steep. And then you also get to see a couple of other peaks on the way. So I think we're gonna take the easier course because we want more beauty and because we're sweating a lot already. We got Mr. Manager over here just chilling. Mr. Manager. That's my man, Mr. Manager. We almost got lost, but we found another sign. The signs here are really good, actually. Like, you just, you get to the point where you just think you're about to get lost, and then a sign comes up. We're nearing the peak. Tell you guys one thing it's not an easy hike at this point you pretty much have to hold on to this rail the whole time and pull yourself up ruthie's got a little bit more grip on her shoes so she's able to do it a lot better she's got it yeah look at that form Woo! but actually even with the grip on my shoes i did have to hold on at a couple of points elevation gain is real you got this. My hands are really slippery. Oh yeah. Woo! Thank God for wearing his shoes.
elevation. We're not done yet. Here we go. Just to give you guys a sense of what the difficulty level is at the top. You pretty much have to hold on to the rope the whole time from this point forward and from a little bit back there too. And there's one part over there that's super steep. This part is also pretty steep. Guys, after a very long three hours, we made it to the top. And there's the South Korea flag. How do you feel, Ruthie? Accomplished? Tired. In the last three hours, my body's gone through Everything. all <laughs> levels of sweat <laughs> and hunger, but happiness, but tiredness. But now we're at the top. He looks so pretty. Ooh, look, way out in the distance, you can see the Seoul Tower. <laughs> Rain goat. <laughs> this is hammer on top of Begunde. 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 Did you guys? Bukasan National Park. <laughs> Did you guys see Seoul? It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, this is actually so beautiful right here, though. <laughs> That's healthy. That's not a selfie, it's a video. <laughs> What's selfie? Hiking here in Bukansa National Park is This is Ruthie talking to the camera. One of my favorite things that we've done so far, actually probably my favorite thing that we've done so far, because we got a lot of exercise, and that way we can eat whatever food we want after this, because we didn't spend any money today, and we used up all of our calories and more hiking. And then, secondly, everybody on the trail is so nice. Hikers in general are really nice, but Korean hikers are even nicer. And everyone has just been wishing us a really good trip here in Korea, and and cheering us on as we hike up. It's really, really nice. Um, and lastly, oh, the- there's a mosquito on you. Ew. Just hit it off. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and lastly, the view from the top is just incredible. Um, it's definitely something that you can't get from anywhere else because this is the highest peak in the whole Seoul region. Whole Seoul region. If you guys want to lose weight, Check out my hairy belly, but if you guys want to lose weight, just try budget traveling for a little bit. I guarantee you'll lose weight. <laughs> Do you guys like my three chins? Actually, it's like six of them we're gonna right start now. A, we're going to start a restaurant called Three Chins. <laughs> three Chins. Take one more panoramic so you can see the view from the top. Actually, that's the top, but we're still going to... Oh, look at that. That looks really cool. starving right now. I don't know how we got up this morning and decided, oh, we'll have one egg, half a banana, and two slices of toast and just hike for five hours. Cool. I'm just trying to swat the flies out of your face. Oh.
Let's I love you. this. That looks so good. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. We finally got Bimmy Bop. We've been here for three days and we didn't have any until now. This is the vegetable one. It looks fabulous. And they gave me a sauce on the side just in case I want to add some flavor, which I want. And this is the spicy octopus one. That oh, looks fabulous. Any... Excuse me? These ones are difficult because they're just like long thin things instead of like yeah. round chopsticks. Okay. I was having difficulty with them the other day. Hot. <laughs> it's very hot. It's a hot pot. Mm -hmm. Is it? It's crunchy. Not Ooh. super spicy though. Not long to get. Like, oh, we're getting a potato bacon. Oh, wow. Wow. It's very big. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Come, Samida. It looks so good. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this octopus, Bimmy Bob. Really good. Incredible. Incredible. Like, so good. This is only 8,000, by the way. It's a little bit spicy. It is. I'm feeling it now. Mm -hmm. But it's so... The octopus is so chewy. And cooked to perfection. Can't get better than this. We got so lucky finding this spot because there, we had looked up another one online and we were going to go there. And right now it's about 9 o'clock. And we arrived at 8.45. They said they closed at 10. But once we arrived, they said the kitchen was closed. And they couldn't serve us. So we were like, shoot. Like, now we just have to walk around until we find something. A block over, there's this place. It closed at 11, the kitchen was open, and we just walked out with the best food. I'm like, when it's hot, not even spicy, but just temperature hot, it takes me a long time to be able to eat things because my mouth is like very sensitive, I guess. I don't know, it's a white people thing. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms are great. I'm going to some rice because I love rice. That's a, that's a face of Ruthie being full. Fix it up. It's all the way over there. Nighttime in Korea is pretty awesome. Seriously speaking, that sounded beautiful, and also night times in Korea are so much cooler than night times in Hong Kong, temperature-wise. So walking around here, it's probably in the 70s Fahrenheit, which is totally bearable. It's like it's normal. It feels really, really nice. Versus night time in Hong Kong, never got cooler than like 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're appreciating the nighttime life here in Korea a lot.